and welcome to the Bhujya. And uh, thanks the organization of the Sondopal Lotus. And also it is a beautiful privilege to be front of you and to share the some life experience and relate to the Buddhist Buddha's teaching. And today our subject is very nice peace non-violent and peace and non-violent and you're it's okay works it works okay like this Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, peace and non-violent. I mean, so generally speaking, uh, in the dynamic of the human societies, we are the very, very, very intelligent uh, kind of the sociality or the social uh, creatures or the beings. And when we look at the globally in the human society, and extraordinary and uh, also seemingly or should to be happy and uh, extremely comfortable and to be healthy and then we enter into the in the, our society and we have different uh, uh, societies in the uh, human uh, realms or the human society and each individual societies how we can to make peace and non-violent and it is very much uh, both are the mutuality or the independent each other and these societies to be peace or non-violent and depend the other societies and also we're talking about the societies but maybe each individual like kind of the human beings all the any kind of transmigrations to be peace or non-violent it's very very much depends on each other 
le fait que tous ces êtres soient en paix et non violents va beaucoup dépendre des uns des autres. Maybe if we are alone, some in the land. Nobody is there. Maybe what we are talking about the peace and non-violent. Which kind of the happiness? And lonely persons or lonely beings. And in that perspective, and we to enjoy peace, non-violent, happiness with all the times coming together of the two societies. And society of your individual persons and to the person or person to person or families to the family or neighborhood by neighborhood or country other countries and we need to to globally the bold societies and it is the very very important things I want to read for you some of the holiness word and he said it's the finding inner peace and the fulfillment the important is uh, the important of the investigating the uh, reality of the situation. That is the most is re realistic realities. For example, peace. When is we look the other situation? And and we look at the, our own situation. And to fully to in, in the investigate what we need, what we others need, to fully to understand each other, we can make peace. We can make no violent. And this is a like kind of the in the modern now. To honestly to talk. There are different development in the, our societies. Mental development. Physical development, material development. But it is very difficult to help for the peace and non violent. Then is we are more approached to the Buddha's path. And we are to scopely to look at the Buddha's teaching, Buddha's behaviors, Buddha's biographies. And kind of the automatically, the feeling of the peace, non-violent, is can occur into the, our mind. Then we really to investigate, to analyze, and this is the relate to the compassion, kindness, and the awareness of understanding to the situation, reality. And this is not really religious. This is not kind of the culture. 
And this is not kind of like a kind of the created the imagination. It's really landing on the ground of the realities. For example, in the Buddha's teachings, you need to understand to others' situation. If you understand other situation, you have the feeling of the others same as yourself. This is the big realization. You understand others same as yourself. And then your kindness and the compassion naturally grows into the, your mind. You chose to think others, not artificial. Like this example is like a mother's concern to the child. Like mothers to fully, like fully to understand the situation of the, their own baby. The mother's compassion and loving kindness towards to the child, there's no doubt. Oh, my child needs this and that. And also the child's feelings. And mother is beautiful or not beautiful? Or is it like successful, not successful? Child don't care. Fully trust. Fully, fully, determinedly to account of the rely on the mother. Fearlessly, jumping on the lap and hugging and kissing. And there's no fear. And then is this kind of relationship and how much is the peace non-violent and therefore we understand each other and then easily to make the peace and non-violent and when we are follow the Buddha's path Buddha's path is not kind of the spiritual path. And there are a lot of analysis, a lot of logicals, and also as a kind of the uh, to investigate the situation. All the kind of the situation of the action and also the result and also Buddha he said you do this and that and inevitably infallibly and the, the consequences can come and that is he called the causalities that is not he created. He discovered the infallibility of the nature of the phenomena. And when we are to really to look at the, our own mind, the situation of the, our mind. How it's going on? Say, what my mind is looking forward? Peace? 
Non violent? Oh yes, absolutely. And then we look at the others' minds. Exactly the same. Each individual transmigrations, even the insect, even the flies, any kind of, not only the human beings, they are searching for the peace, non-violent. Then how we can to make peace and non-violent? Through only the compassion and the understanding of the each other's situation. And therefore, Buddha's is like kind of the talking. Most important message is the in interdependency. And therefore, I can to read one word from the holiness. <laughs> Inner peace is the related to the mental calmness. Inner peace. And when we are talking about the peace, not external peace, and peace needs to create occurring inside. If look at the, our like kind of some human beings, compassionate, kindness, all the times to have a such a kind of uh, contentment. And also it's like less self-centered, more benefit thinking to others. And this person is very much mind is calm. And this person's mind also is very much its peace. Therefore, in the holiness said, the inner peace is related to the mental calmness. Physical experience doesn't necessarily determine our mental peace. It is truth, totally truth. We look at the in the physically. Some person, physically very much healthy, and this person is material is very rich. Physically, it's nothing kind of problem. But mentally, it's not peace. And this just kind of the physically uh, peace or it's like a healthy, it doesn't bring inner mind peace. And also he said, if we have mental peace, then the physical level is not so important. Absolutely, it's true. Some compassionate and the practitioner of the Buddha's message, maybe physically they all the time is problems, but mentally all the time is peace. Even that these persons maybe receive, some doctors say, I may be going to die today, tomorrow, this month, next month. If really to like kind of someone's learn it or the study the Buddha's teachings, 
And this person's mind is never turmoiled. Never. Because there are not much kind of the uh, dependence of the physical peace. These persons already made peace in their minds. And therefore, physical labor is not so important. And for example, even myself, I'm a very much fragile guy. Emotional. And then it's like kind of, I'm like kind of looking for all the time physical peace, okay? A lot of problems. But luckily, I met so many great human beings. There are great human beings. Realize it. So important. But also they have sickness. Some physical problems. Their mind is all the time peace. Non-violent. And such a full of the contentment. I ask to them, how you can do it? How you are like this? Oh, if you want to do it like this, you should to study Buddha's message. And through that, you can to make the inner peace. It's like really is the like uh, extraordinary. And also I met some in the physically healthy or the peace. I met so ex like kind of extreme rich, powerful, even the probably they made like toilet bathrooms made by the gold and silvers. Different like kind of the countries like huge palace. They call the summer palace, winter palace, autumn palace, supreme palace. Different bank is full of the money. But mental is never fit peace. Worried, depressed, all the time unhappy. We sometimes talk. Why you don't make happiness? Uh, how look in the world. No lot of natural disaster. And a lot of the problems. Physically powerful. And the lack kind of the position powerful. Externally kind of material development are powerful. Make such a turmoil inside and make more problems. And that is the really truth in our societies. If we are study the Buddha's message, how we can create inner peace, it doesn't matter you are rich or poor, it doesn't matter you are powerful or not powerful. Or like kind of the any kind of situations. Even we can see you born or you old age, sick or dying. Like a kind of the continuation of the peace, non-violent, you can to create. 
We generally to understand that peace means, of course, inner calm mind. In a kind of the relaxation mind. And when we are thinking about the non-violent, more externally, when we are concerning or external look in this world, there is a war, pandemic, fam, lot of problems. How I can to make the non-violent? This is problems. Because if individual each our human beings to make a peace self, to control in our minds, and then externally non-violent is automatically become. Externally non the violent or non-violent. We really to to truly determinedly to investigate like a dream, like hallucination. Really it's like kind of the magic kind of the play. Maybe that if you don't study the philosophy of the Buddha's teaching, to this kind of the saying is difficult to accept. But in the Buddha's teachings, that is the we call the philosophy. How it is that you are really to the life and the inner perception of the, your thoughts, ex, like kind of the seeing appearances, all those are the, you more approach, more too close, like a dream. If you don't analyze, just normal childish minds, yes, I am existent, you are existent, this existence. And make joke, okay? I'm been in Belgium more than 25 years. Some of you are made, it's at the beginning. Now I'm look with each other. White is hair is coming. Ring is coming. But during the 20 years, one I think is really where this years are gone. Like a dream. Like hallucination. Then we say, a really Buddha, he said like this, really truth. During the 20 years, what I did, what you did, everything is momentary nature. What can I need to hold in? <laughs> Like same as last night, my dream. And uh, like this is really true to more approaches. And then externally to more, externally violent, existence or no existence. We don't know. But of course, some there are violent. We want to make the non-violent. But maybe it's very difficult to fix it, fix it, external things. For instance, 
Last night, when I be in the, my dreams, there's two person is fighting. I'm going to between there is to say don't fight him. Both person says ah like can excuse each other. They using different weapons. They try to kill each other. I said, why you are fighting? Not this person say like this person say like this. And we try to make a peace. Try to again, again. And difficult. I try to fix it. Impossible. And then suddenly. One person said, you are stupid to telling me. I said, why am I stupid? How you can to fix it at us? We are the, your hallucination. If you really to find or to make the fix it to us, you need to fix it yourself. And then I'm awake up. These two persons, where is gone? There's no violent. Just the inner my kind of the inner something is going on. Then I thought externally violent. But during the day. Similarity. Of course, we can see something, but we believe very, very much externally appearances. And then is we say, look at this war and these things. We never look inside. When is the Buddha's message? To look at your mind, to fix it your mind, to make a peace your mind, naturally can curb the peace and non-violent. And therefore, and Holiness said, the physical level is not important. And also, nor do we develop the inner peace through prayer? No, not really. To pray. Mm. Inner peace through prayer. Pray. Prayer. And also, it is true. And we say, oh, there is violent. Maybe say Buddha or God or deities, maybe to pacify this violent. Sometimes it doesn't work. And also in our families. And violent is current. And you say, my husband, my wife, my sister, brother, my family is very much violent. Oh God, Buddha, please, I pray to make peace. Sometimes it doesn't work. It is true, through the prayers, it's not really. Then we, how we can do? Turn in the wood to correct ourselves. And we correct ourselves, we make inner peace, maybe externally, automatically. If you are peace, if you are non-violent yourself, Others never disturb, maybe. And therefore, it is the mental calm, mental peace is really to make the non violent. Maybe I talk too much. 
Are you tired? Would you like to stop five minutes? Okay, yes, five minutes. Coffee or tea? Yeah. Can you electricity bring? I'm a little cold. 